Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Charlene. Um, this morning I was just um, doing some errands and went to the grocery store. So there I bought a bunch of lean ground hamburger um, here in Ontario. Um, yeah, this is a 1.1 kilogram um, and it, they were on for $9.96. So I know that seems expensive, but they were 17 something at some point in time. So I'm going to make some um, ham homemade hamburgers and I'm also going to make some um, meatloaf. Sorry. They're both the same recipe. So I'm going to do two, two packs at a time. I would love to have hamburgers on hand for those nights, those nights that we um, just eat something quick, quick for dinner. Okay, so in this, I don't put any breadcrumbs or anything in mine. Um, I'm going to just use one egg for two packs. I'm going to season it with just regular paprika. I don't measure for this at all, so I can't really give you any measurements. Salt, just add a fair bit of salt here. Probably one to two teaspoons worth. And then I add this red pepper sauce. This is just basically, we make, we all make this. It's just ground. Um, what did my husband say? Habanero, no, it can't be habanero. Okay, I'll have to double check on that. But we also, we've also used, um, it's just ground peppers. Like say you take a shepherd's pepper and you just grind it down and you add a lot of salt to it and you put them in jars like this. Um, yeah, it depends if you like spice or not, so. Okay, so we will just add a fair bit of that. I would say that's probably a quarter of a cup. And then I always like to put a lot, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of garlic in this. So that's a whopping full tablespoon there, but I'm gonna put more. Okay, and I'm gonna check. So, pepper. yeah, I don't need pepper in this one. Got the egg. Okay, and then I just hand mix it all. <clears throat> Pardon me. So for the pepper sauce, um, it was banana peppers that um, was used. And, um, but you can use any pepper that you like. If you don't like spice, just use a, a, a pepper that has no spice. Uh, we used a meat grinder to grind it. And um, this can even be omitted completely if you don't. We just got used to using it, so. I see some spots that haven't been incorporated yet. Okay. I think that's pretty good. Okay, that's really cold. Okay, I'm just going to wash my hands. get some cookie sheets. So put these on. Just going to quickly spray just so we don't have a hard time getting it off. Move some of this stuff out of the way. Stay there. 
Okay, just need one more thing. Get a Ziploc bag out so I can measure. Usually after I make um, the meatloaf, I will put them in Ziploc bags. So I like to have one sitting beside me when I'm making them. So I make them to fit inside the bag, no problem. So I'm going to make these big because there's five of us. And... Um, yeah, so it's basically one one hamburger pack per per meatloaf. And I just hand mold it to whatever shape that I want. It looks like it has a little bit more. I'll just squish it here. Um, sometimes we will we make um, homemade uh, sausages. And sometimes I will put um, a sausage inside of this too, which is really good. It adds so much flavor. We, I'm hoping, we're hoping to get a smoker this year and then we can smoke our own sausages. But we will see how it goes. We're looking for a sale. We're hoping for a sale. Just a little bit more here. Looks like it might break open in a few spots. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands again. going to, without touching them, I'm just going to make sure that they will fit and close inside of the Ziploc bags and they both will. So that's perfect. So I'm going to put, stick this in the freezer and move on to some hamburgers. So I'll let that freeze for at least two hours and then um, and then I'll put it in the thick block bags. But I have forgotten them overnight and that's not a big deal. Okay, so I just spray them just so that when I take them out of the freezer and I'm trying to pull them off, it just comes off a little easier. Okay, so I have a Tupperware um, hamburger press here. I'm going to spray just a little bit of the bottom because once you press it so many times, it gets the hamburger stick inside. Then I'm going to open up and do two more packs exactly the same way. So yeah, so we did actually, for the amount of meat we have, we were very lucky that last, was it last year? No, it had to have been two years ago. Um, my sister and brother-in-law um, raised a cow for us. So we went to the auction, we purchased the one we wanted and they raised it for us. And um, so we just got that back. Let's see, eight months ago, roughly. And so I was really hoping it would be like a year's worth of everything, but it definitely was not a year's worth of ground hamburger for a family of five. Um, but, you know, it still helps. So that's why I'm still buying some um, store bought ones. And eventually I will look into um, seeing if we can get another one, but it, it was a good, I don't know. You, you don't know what you're going to use out of everything and you watch these videos for like getting yourself a full cow. You watch the videos on all the different parts that you could get and um, I think that what the reality of what you actually will use 
it's not all of all the parts. So hamburger is one ground hamburger and the other stewing beef is one we we um, use a lot of. And even though we did get a fair bit of it, I just think we could use even more. So we'll see. We'll see for next time. Okay, so I put this all, so I just need some of this. So sometime I will do a video on how we how we make this. Right now we have probably a year's supply of it. I was hoping to grow my own um, my own supply of peppers, but peppers is one thing that I haven't grown a ton of. Okay, so we got oh the egg. It's a good thing to double check sometimes. And then we did the garlic fat, paprika and salt. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so the other thing we got, I really, I really wanted to try myself was to make my own um render down my own uh, fat from the, the cow, which I did, and I did I did pretty good. And now it's still sitting in my in one of my fridges because I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with it. Um, I had thoughts of making natural like face creams or whatever. I know I watched a bunch of videos on on what you can do with it, so we'll see. That will be for another time when I have lots of time to do more research. But it's done, it's made, it's safe, it'll last forever in there, so. But I do love the amount of bones that I got from the cow. I actually never did weigh how much, but we got like probably four or five big bags, like this big, of just bones, so. Um, like you've probably seen my little dog walking around sometimes in the videos. Um, so I would just, when I was going to make broth or something, I'd defrost them a bit. And then I would pull out the, the safe bones for him because some of them have really sharp edges and I didn't want him to have that. Okay, so so there's no set size. You can make them as thick or as thin as you like them. Okay, and I'm going to turn the camera down a bit because you won't be able to see. Just pull this part out and that just slide out nicely. I like these because they kind of make them actually, I might have made that a little thick, but I'm trying to watch that.
Okay, so for the last batch, I'm just gonna make um, a few more hamburgers and I'm gonna make actually some meatballs. So for the meatballs, I'm just gonna probably make them whatever fits in your hand size. So this is what we um, ended up with. And I just have to put it in the freezer uh, for a good couple hours. But um, this day, it actually turned out that I left it in overnight. So I left these in overnight. Got totally forgot about them last night. So I'm gonna get these put away this morning. Let's start with these. Oh, these just, okay, we won't start with those. Those are heavy. Stuck. I just love having all this ready to go food prepped. Because I think we all have a few nights a week where we just, I don't know, some days I just wake up and I, I can't think of anything for dinner. I go, it'd be like hours and I'm just, like, I'm just clueless. I'm like, I have no idea what to make. I get tired of the same stuff. So some days it's just hamburgers or meatloaf. Sometimes I have to hit this side of the pan on the floor or just twist it. I think I heard that open. Not open, but uh, come apart. There we go. See, and it fits perfectly inside of a Ziploc. We had got everything all packed. We ended up with two meatloaves, um, 16 hamburgers, and 37 meatballs. So very, very happy to have this in our freezer. Okay, thank you everybody for watching, um, and I guess we'll see you on the next video.